Uh, my name is Peter Mirwa. I'm the senior atlas teacher at our Vuleka Assisted Learning Center and also the head of the school. Uh, the lesson for today was long division, uh, which most of our learners struggle with. We, we, we really want our learners to be able to, to divide, which is, uh, you know, sharing. You use division in, in your everyday lives, you know, in, in with money. That's why I started with money <coughs> as an introduction. So much, ne? we can't do anything without money. So now, if I've got 10 rents, 10 rents, and I want to give these four beautiful kids the same amount of money, how much am I going to give them? Do you know? Yes, sir. I've got 10 rents, ne? Yes, sir. All right. Now I've got five children. Yes, sir. I want to give them the same amount of money. How much are they each going to get? Five. Two. Two rents. They will each get two rents, ne? In a case where there's a large amount of money involved or big numbers involved, we use what we call loan division method. And then from there, I show them different steps of how to do loan division, which is you first divide, you multiply, you subtract, and then you bring down the number. Let's say, for example, I want to divide 78 by 6. So this already show us that we are using long division method, isn't it? Yes. Now, the simpler way to do that, you start with the number that you divide by. You say 6 into 7. Does it go? Yes. 6 into 7 goes how many times? Nice. Goes 1 times. Then you put your 1 here. Then you take this 1. You multiply it by, by six. Then you write your six under you. Okay. Then after that you you subtract. Seven minus six is one. Then after that you bring down the eight to one. It becomes eighteen. Then you go again and use the same method that we use from the beginning. We say 6 into 18, or you can say 18 divided by 6. But again, since I said that most of our learners are, are, are struggling, I normally use <coughs> another, another method, which, which I learned somewhere, where I bring you know, the family you know, into, you know, into the situation. So we replace division with dead, which is quite easy for most of our learners and we replace multiplication with, uh, I mean with mother. So you've got dad and then you've got mother. Then it's easier for our learners to know that, okay, you start with dad, then you followed with mother. As long as they know the first letters represent what in our four uh, basic operations in maths. Then you'll have the, you know, the third step as, as, as sister, with, you know, which is subtraction. And the last one bring down is your uh, is brother. Division, start with D, okay? Yes. Then you think of yes. dead, because it start with D, okay? Yes. Multiplication starts with yes. M, then think of your mom, your mother starts with M. That's the step, the steps that you follow. Subtraction starts with S, then you have your sister. And then the last one, bring down, then it starts with B, and you have brother. So you start with division, followed by multiplication, followed by subtraction, and then bring down. So the easier way, like what Koli has just said, is to replace division with dad, mother, for multiplication, sister, for subtraction, brother, for bring down. So you can just say dad, Mother, sister, brother. Can we say it again? Dead, mother, sister, brother. What I normally do, I always involve my learners. So they are always part of you know, my lesson. So you will see I'll go around, then I'll ask each and every learner to take part. Even if they don't raise their hand, I'll just, you know, their hands I'll just 
uh, point them. But you know the the method that has worked for me is to use you know bots. Zero times Because each and everyone can participate. So I'll give them a question, and each and everyone will write, you know, on their bots. Then by looking around, by going around, seeing what you what they are writing, you will be able to see the learners who are struggling. Then you'll give them extra help here and there, but not forgetting those who are finishing their work quickly. What is the first step? What is the Sami, what is the first step? It's divide. Next, what do you? What numbers are you dividing? Nine into eight hundred and ninety-eight. So can you do that very, very, very quickly? Can you say nine into eight hundred and ninety-eight? Will you give me an answer now, now? So what are you supposed to do? Say nine into eight can't go. Put a dot. Say nine into eight can't go. We put a dot, and then. Nine into eighty nine goes nine times. Uh, when we say nine into eighty nine, we say it goes eight times. Nine times. Nine into eighty nine goes nine times. This is the first step. Okay. Now, what is the second step? We're going to mul multiplication. We're going to multiplication. Right here, we're going to multiplication. What do we do? We multiply 9 times 9. This 9 times 9? Nine. We multiply 9 times 9. Tabile, what is the answer? 81. 9 multiplied by 9 is? 81. It's 81. We are done. Okay. Mbonon, what is our third step now? We subtract. We subtract. What are we subtracting? Same. We subtract 89 minus 89 minus 81. 89 minus 81. Ponono, can you quickly show us how we subtract? We have to say 9 minus 1 equals 8. 9 minus 1 equals to 8. And then? Then you, then you say 8. Minus 8 equals 0, then 8 units, you see, you break down. 8 minus 8 equals to 0. It's fine, boy. Can you continue? Then you say, then, then you break down the 8. Bring down, which is our last step. Which number are we bringing down? 8. Okay. The benefit of teaching the lesson the way I did is, like I said before, we've got different uh learners you know in my class with 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 different challenges so they are not in the same you know group like in the mainstream where you've got the grade sevens together so we will normally give different exercises for different groups and then when you use boards you are able to assist those who are very 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 slow who need who need extra help uh, uh that's the benefit of of teaching the lesson the way I did. I think the most wonderful thing about teaching these children is you have learners who come here, who, who come to our school with low confidence because they've been at mainstream schools and they've been struggling there. And once they come to our school, and when you teach the way we teach now, involving them in, 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 in in everything that we do in the lesson. So in a in, in few months, you see a lot of improvement. Uh, that's the best thing that we do here, and we hope to continue uh, in that way.